We'll get back to the phones in just a moment. But tonight, we have our friends from the Seneca Park Zoo here. Tina and Doug. Doug. All right. That looks like a ball that Tina's holding. All right. But, but John's not afraid of balls. Uh, <laughs> that I am afraid of. All right. What do we have, Tina? Well, this is Doug. He is a southern three-banded armadillo. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's not going to hurt you. So no. you don't have any reason to be afraid. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Tina. <laughs> now I feel better. All right. All right. You know what? We said our, our, um, after our creature teaser is a mammal, and so mm -hmm. is Doug. Um, looking at him, he doesn't look furry, but if you see these hairs sticking out here, we can see that, that Doug is a mammal, and that's yes. one of the characteristics we look for. And those, those hairs are really interesting because when he does curl up all the way in a ball, his eyes are hidden, so the only way for him to know if it's safe to uncurl after the danger is passed is by feeling movement with those hairs oh, that stick out. that's interesting. That's pretty cool. Yeah, and uh, we can see his claws sticking up here. T tell us what yeah. you use those, those claws for. Those claws are mainly used for finding his food. He uses them for digging. Uh, his food is beetle larvae and uh, ants and termites mostly, and um, during the wet season he'll eat some fruit. Um, but for the most part, he is an insectivore, and he can use those claws to dig at an ant or termite mound, and if you hit a tunnel, you've got a smorgasbord. Ah, wow. And uh, he can also dig like at termites. beetle nests. <laughs> so um, he's, he's quite adept at getting his food. You know, maybe you could show his bat, because Doug's sure. a three-banded armadillo. Right. And there's several kinds, right? There's there six are. and nine. Yep. Okay. And uh, there's actually 20 different species of armadillos. Oh, wow. And uh, the three-banded armadillo, you can see the three bands on his back here, um, is the only type of armadillo that can curl up completely in a ball. And believe it or not, he's not completely curled up. This nope. is sort of, this is kind of his his relaxed second. state. Yes. Yeah, he's, <laughs> he's just hanging out, huh? Right. Yeah. If he was curled completely up, his uh, you can see that his tail and his head mm -hmm. uh, aligned uh, two triangles to form together. And you would not see his eye or his nose or even those claws. You wow. would just, it would be completely closed up and uh, all you would see those little hair sticking out. All right, and you said that protects him from most predators. It does. There, yeah. uh, There is one that could still uh, get to him even in his curled up state and that is the jaguar that would live in the rainforest uh, down in South America. Mm -hmm. Their mouth is wide enough that he they could get it around him. Bite yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, very cool. All right, stay away from the jaguars. <laughs> yeah. Now, what, what's he eat at the zoo? Uh, well, he does get some insects. Uh, okay. He'll also eat dog food and some mixed produce. Okay. Um, so a variety of things. Mm -hmm. right. You know, this is interesting because we look at his, his skin, or you know, and this isn't bone. Right. This is this keratin. is actually keratin, which yep. is the same thing that our hair and fingernails is made of. So you think it's of it, he's just covered in yeah. a nice. lot of little fingernails. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, it's a hard substance. You know, we think of our fingernails not that tough, but a rhino's nose, right? Sure. You know, yeah, or a horn. same thing. Yep, so, yes. Yeah, now, you said 20 cool. species? There are 20 different species, and they all live in the Americas. Okay. Uh, one species, the nine-banded, that uh, makes its way up into the uh, southeastern U.S. The rest oh, of them okay. are in mm -hmm. Central and South America. Wow. Now, it's unfortunate when he was earlier, he was all uh, open and letting us uh, see sure. him well. <laughs> we can see the tips of his ears, but you said mm -hmm. they have very good hearing, right? They do have very good hearing. He's got uh, a new usually large ears for the size of his mm -hmm. head, so his hearing is, is quite good, and that actually helps him find his food, too, Excellent. so. And how, all right, well, thanks for bringing him, Tina. Oh, no, thank you. It. All right, <laughs> very cool, thank you. Now, you know, Doug was very cool, but if you wanna learn more about other animals, you can go to our website, homeworkoutline.org, click on the video player. There you can check out animal-related videos and much, much more.